So in a way, tomorrow is the moment of truth. I did my live today and it was a lot of fun because we were still, you know, all hyped up about the Trump rally isn't Trump winning. But I've had to stay up. It's uh, like 4.30 in the morning. I've had to keep my son up all night. <laughs> it's been fun, though. We've had a, we've had a good time. Um, you're probably asking why I had to keep him up all night. He has to do a EKG tomorrow. And he has to do it with sleep deprivation. So it's been a really hard time, but we've had, as I said, a good time with it. Um, <laughs> he's done a lot of things way earlier than I did. I'll tell you what. He's staying up all night long with no sleep. Um, so he doesn't get to sleep until after 8 a.m. the next day. That's tomorrow. It's 4.30 a.m. now. We've made it this far. And uh, you're probably asking, why does he have to have these tests? Um, I'm really waiting for that moment of truth. Um, he's had these episodes where, um, I can't remember what they call them, but before they thought they were quite common, where kids hold their breath and they pass out and they have seizures. But when they do it past um, a certain age, they get worried. And with him, it was even more so because he was doing it often, including when he would take baths and things like that. And a couple of times we actually had to save him in there because it can happen so quick and it's been really scary. But anyway, I wanted to post this. I'll probably post a follow up on how it goes. I know I don't get to sleep until after 8 a.m. because the way it's going is I'm the one that gets to stay up tonight because we didn't think it would be a good idea for the person, the adult staying up all night long and then driving, you know, the little one to the appointment. So I'm staying up all night and Ange is the one that gets to take the kids to school and take him to the appointment while I get to try to sleep after staying up all night. But you know what? <laughs> My little boy ends up staying up even longer than I do and getting hooked to wires. I had that happen when I was a kid, too. I was older than him, though. I was about, I think I was like eight. And luckily, the EKGs aren't like when I did it. And I think I'm saying it wrong about the EKG. I'm not sure. But the ones where they put the wires on your head. Um, I remember when I was a kid, it was horrible. They had these ones that they literally screwed the wires into your head. Now they don't they do not do it like that anymore. At least that's what's, what Ange says. My wife's a doctor. So I know I'm going way past the time. You guys are probably going to find it boring and it's going to be another video that doesn't go anywhere. But I just wanted to put it out there. I'm worried about it, but I really like the moment of truth. Seeing him have his seizures are the scariest thing in the world. I remember he was at dance class and uh, he had done his entire dance class. It was like the first or second day of him trying it. And he came out after dance class, was doing great. And then all of a sudden, he just like collapsed in my arms and started shaking and his eyes rolled back in his head. I know a lot of you guys know what that's like. You've been around people that have seizures. I haven't been around a lot of them. So, and when it's your your own little, little one, it scares the living crap out of you. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out there. A lot of you guys were in my live. You know what's going on. A lot of you were really rude, too. You said things like, keeping my son up, I'm going to call CPS or D DHS and yada, yada, yada. You know what? You people, I'm going to pray for you because that was really messed up. It's really screwed up where people do things like that. But anyway, God bless. Thank you all for listening. Have an amazing night. If you want to know more about it, give me some messages. Tell me your thoughts, and I'll do a follow-up.